Hey boys and girls, this is Dougie Fresh. Just a very, very quick tutorial on how I did the Ravenel bridge shot with the moon in the background. I went out there that particular night with the intention of shooting um, some star trails. So I have probably about 200 images that I have available to me from that night. I'm just going to bring one over. It's in raw format <clears throat> and we're going to adjust it accordingly. Um, it was shot with a Canon 1D Mark IV. Uh, ISO was 160. The f-stop was f4, and the exposure time was 15 seconds. Uh, the particular size of this image as we're looking at it is 21.6 megabytes. Um, if you go into Camera Raw and you adjust in Photoshop, um, this is how I shot it. Uh, I, I like playing with, with tungsten. It gives it more of a blue haze. Now I'm going to just bump the exposure just a little bit. Um, the white's up a little bit as well. And the blacks up just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to go down with the blacks. Um, but you, if you know a lot about camera raw, then you probably have better understandings of where to make these adjustments. Uh, but I'm going to leave it as is. I really want to just worry about the white balance more than anything. And I'm going to open the image. Um, to make it easier, because of something I'm going to do here shortly, I'm going to go ahead and also crop this image. Um, if you're looking to print or do anything with it later down the line, I wouldn't suggest this part. Uh, at least not yet, but because it takes the video a while to render these large images, I'm going to go ahead and just crop it um, as I see fit. Uh, crop it to, I don't know, let's see. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Rather than crop it, I'm going to just go up to image size, and I'm just going to adjust the size in inches down to a 5x3. A lot smaller. Are a lot smaller and a lot easier probably for me to work with so I can live with that well, anyway this is the image uh, it's gonna have it's gonna have some detail that's lost to it but you see stars here and this is what I was going for that night um, <clears throat> I also have a shot of the moon and what I'm going to do is I'm because you, you notice right away there is no shot of the moon here the moon was not out that night um, so what I'm going to do is bringing in a shot that I took from my house outside the front yard of the moon boom and there you go um, now what I did and I'll redo this but I lasso tool the moon in this shot so that you see it it's already done um, and I'm, I'm essentially gonna bring it into this image again looking at it there's no moon here so I'm just gonna grab it bring it over poof there's my moon and because it's huge I have to fix it uh, we're gonna minimize this and I'm gonna take my moon and I'm sure there are other ways to adjust this, but I'm going to adjust it my way. So I'm going to bring it down to size, at least a little bit more that I can deal with it. Now you're, you're noticing that it's losing perspective. It's losing uh, shape. If you go up and you actually click on the, uh, the maintain aspect ratio tool, it'll pop back into place. Um, but you can put that moon wherever you want. And uh, I noticed that some people said it was a little big, but it's okay. We're actually going to leave it big for the purposes of the video. Uh, it's more for shock factor because you're never really going to be able to take the shot with that exposure on the moon and this exposure on the bridge. It's just, uh, I don't know how it could be done. I don't think it can be done. Uh, but we're, we're going to create a little little image like this. Now, with that being said, there's my moon. Now, again, I can move it anywhere I want. Uh, but we're going to leave it right here and be done with it. Um, that is the basics of this image. Uh, what I'm now going to do is go into Nick Tools, which is an image filter. Well, I'm sorry, I've got to layer this first. We're going to flatten the layer because it was two separate layers. We're going to go into Filter, Nick Software, Color Effects Pro, which is a plugin for Photoshop. Um, you can read about that, but it's NIK Tools. And it's really just a whole set of filters that allows you to, to, to do whatever you want to with the image that you have. Um, that looks very similar to the image that I posted, uh, but there are some recipes up here that we can use that will do different things to the image. Uh, let's see, that's Big Sky probably. Whatever you click over here is going to show up over here. And it will take a few seconds to render. I'm hoping it doesn't take a long time because this video will take way too long. Well, that looks pretty close. Now the moon I know is still too big. Let me see if I can find one that, that kind of looks a little different than the ones that we have used before, or at least the ones you might have seen. 
No, 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 no. Okay. I'm trying to think. Okay. We'll, we'll go with the. Why not, why not go with the purple film? We'll see what that one looks like. No, we don't. Oh gosh, no, we don't like that at all. We don't like that at all. Um, how about soft nostalgic? Let's see what that looks like. Maybe that's got a little bit more kick to it. I think it's going to be grainy. I think it's going to be pixelated, but we'll take a look. No, 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 gosh, no. Don't like that one either. How about Starry Night Enhancement? Probably will like that one. I hope. There you go. It doesn't look much different than the one we posted before, so that's the one that we will go with. Oh, you know what? Let's try this one. Darkened Indian Summer. Tone Darkened Indian Summer. We'll try that one. Yeah, I like that. Well, anyway, uh, you can adjust anything over here once you pick your filter. And you can even add more filters to do different things. Uh, I'm not going to go through that because, again, it'll take a while for the computer to process. But once you click OK, <clears throat> the software will process it. Hopefully it won't take a long, long time. Uh, that's why I cropped the image to begin with. Uh, because if it was original raw file, this could take three or four or five minutes. Uh, we don't want that. Uh, and that's what the images end up looking like. Now, we're going to layer it. We're going to flatten the layer. And I don't think there's any, there's much more that I'm going to do to it. I might, might crop it a little differently. Image crop. And there you go. That's basically how I did the image, um, except for the cropping initially. So with that being said, if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, remember I used Photoshop CS6 with the plugin Nick Tools, which is uh, Color Effects Pro. Be glad to answer any questions I can about it. I'm not an expert in it, but I do have a little bit of knowledge, and I've got... Uh